Welcome to a comprehensive guide on mastering Microsoft PowerPoint. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned user, this walkthrough will cover everything that you need to know about PowerPoint's functionalities, advantages, disadvantages, and more. So let's dive in. So what is PowerPoint? And PowerPoint is a powerful presentation tool that allows you to create dynamic slideshows with ease. And there are a couple of functionalities that you're going to look at. And here is the list. Number one, we can create engaging slides with text, images, and other multimedia elements. Yeah, so basically, when you open your PowerPoint, this is how you first launch it. You just come here, you can just type P and you have your PowerPoint there. All right, and then you launch a blank page or if you have a template, you can use a template that you're going to populate with slides. Okay, so on to the next one. This is how you can create text, just simply adding text. And then you edit it using the same way that you are editing using the word editor. Another function of PowerPoint is that we can create, we can customize slide layouts, fonts, colors, and backgrounds to match our style. As you've seen here, we can maybe do bold on these, italize on these, underline, using these features that you have here, B, I, U, we have the colors here, how you can change colors. Basically, this is to suit your specific needs. If it's a corporate presentation, if it's a gaming presentation, friends presentation, now you choose according to the kind of environment that you're presenting in. We can also incorporate animations and transitions to bring your presentations to life. Uh, I'll be showing you this in a short while. We can also collaborate with other in real time using cloud-based option sharing. Th this we shall see to when or you can use this when you're using Google 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 PowerPoint. Basically, it's known as Google Slides. We can also be able to access a wide range of templates and themes to jumpstart our creativity. Slides are available on the internet. You just have to know the kind of templates you want to use and then you can download them and then add your text in them right so let me show you how to add these transitions because i'm not using transitions for this slide that i'm showing you so let us see how we can add a transition click on the slide that you want to transit come here to transitions here and then you can select any style that you want here. Let's use Morph. So let's see. Let us add it also here to the second one. All right, let's see. As you can see, it, it works with the slideshow only. So you can see it fades, then the second slide comes in, that pushes it up. You can try as many as you, as you like according to how you want it. But maintain, maintain a single theme based on the kind of environment that you're presenting in. Now we can move to another thing. Let's see how we can 
we already know how to change fonts from the previous document other things that you can see here we have paste options where you can copy paste your text we have layout where we can have different layouts for our slides we have where we can add sections we have shapes right here we have arrange arrangements here this is now when you are editing the slides this bring to front works with when you have maybe an image and some text so you're bringing something in front of the other yeah and that and that is that you you might be interested in you have word arts to, to edit our text we can also do a screen recording of our presentation yeah this is really interesting it's on it's available in latest versions of the powerpoint microsoft powerpoint we have draw we can draw things that we'd like um we have design this designing our pages we have transitions that i've shown you animations slideshow now this is how we select this is selecting how we want our slides to play or how we want to present it this is what people will see recording we can, this is what i've talked about we can screenshot we can record our presentation we have review where we have our spelling checkers language the servers yeah okay so let's continue let us continue we have we are now moving on to the advantages of powerpoint and advantages of powerpoint is one of them is professionalism powerpoint enables us to create good looking presentations to captivate our audience number two we have versatility whether you are presenting in a boardroom or a classroom or any other type of setting or depending on the theme of the event or the meeting powerpoint is versatile to adapt to the theme that you want we have the visual appeal with its rich multimedia capabilities we can create visually captivating slides we have accessibility and powerpoint is accessible widely and it is supported by diff across different platforms hence easy to share and collaborate presentations now we have integration where powerpoint seamlessly integrates with other office applications okay now every software that has an advantage or everything that has an advantage has a disadvantage so let us look at the disadvantages of powerpoint and number one we can have over reliance on slides a presenter might be looking at the slides and just focusing on what is written there reading what is written there word to word and this shows that and this has a toll on the engagement with the audience also we have an information overload we can write too much and overwhelm our audience so it's it's better when we use we keep it simple number three we have potential for boredom and when we have poorly designed and long presentation our audience will disengage we have technical issues sometimes we can have glitches with our operating systems or when the powerpoint is expired uh, license is expired the office uh, the office license is expired we'll have some troubles also your learning learning number four number five the learning curve to be able to be a master at this it takes some time and effort to be able to utilize it maximally so what how should we make our presentations how can we ace our presentations and this is a question that you're going to answer in the slide below how to ace your presentation number one we keep it simple so we focus on conveying our message clearly and concisely number two we engage our audience it's important to use storytelling techniques 
interactive elements and other audience engagement cues to keep them engaged. Remember that presentations, boardroom presentations, you need just the first 30 seconds will determine whether people will listen to you or won't listen to you. Then we have number three, practice, rehearse your presentation so that it can be smooth during the day of your presentation. Number four, use visuals wisely. We cannot put gaming themes while the meeting concerns something else different like maybe agriculture. It doesn't add up. Number five, we should be prepared for the unexpected. Have a backup plan. Having a backup plan can include having a, a portable disk like a flash drive that has your presentation in case your machine is corrupted or, or someone with malicious deletes your presentation so that uh, the management will not get to see what you intended them to see. Some malicious kind of people. Anyway, be prepared for the unexpected. This might even include having some notes in your notebook so that in case of any power outages or a scenario where you might not be able to use your machine to project your presentation, you just use your notes. And that's it about introduction to Microsoft PowerPoint. I hope the tutorial has been enlightening. Kindly subscribe if you haven't and give this video a thumbs up. Have a nice time as you ace your presentations. Bye bye.